traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart here in honor of our good friend Jeff over there in New Jersey that he said that he thought the wheat was going to get down a little bit lower than what we thought it was going to be, which was 611. It did get very close to his exact price within two pennies. And Coach, <laughs> it had a rally today that scared even the most uh, staunch short it rallied uh, 34 cents in a matter of about an hour uh, in the wheat uh, so uh, that's nothing more than a short covering rally but it shows sometimes the ABCD patterns work I'd like to bring to your attention something that happened when I was in Las Vegas last Wednesday uh, giving the show and I wanted to bring this up because uh, I had a very nice crowd I mean people seemed they were very interested they uh, well, I guess they gave me a standing ovation because they were just happy to get up. But uh, you'll notice here that I was pointing out that we were having this three drive to a top pattern that was going to be happening here. And I was saying, you know, to sell it at, uh, you know, 170.88. Now, today uh, it hit 170.91. And then, of course, it's dropped $2 a share since that time. And one of the folks that was at the uh, meeting was kind enough to uh, drop me a little note saying, well, you missed that one because it went to 170.91. And I said, you're right, I missed it by three cents. I said before, this stuff doesn't work all the time. So I under hope you understand that when you have something like that, I don't know what else to say. So I tried to actually just uh, do the best I could to see what's uh, to see what's going to see what's going on with the thing, but I, I I thought it was relatively funny. Also, I want to follow through with our friend Steve over in uh, uh, Austin, Texas, because he's been watching the. We'll get to the stocks in just a minute, folks, and uh, we'll get this up here. You'll be able to see it. This is the. Uh, we were supposed to have some strong support here at the uh, 618, and as you can see. You know, it uh, didn't go down very much at all. In fact, it uh, stopped uh, very, very uh, minorly here for maybe oh half an hour, and then of course it went a little bit lower. Remember, we don't have a really good ABCD pattern in here at all. However, I want to show you one that was—it's really important, folks, because when you have trades, I'm going to get this up here and show you. This is where we are with the crude oil. Let me get this up here. Okay, hold on one second, and we'll get the crude oil up because this is very important about losing trades because those are the ones that save you the money, folks. Honest to God, they really do. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Here was a trade where we had the perfect ABCD there at 71.68. And I said, folks, if you can't do this trade, you can't do any of them. And the reason why is you had a beautiful A, B, this is a daily chart. A, B, C, D coming in right there at 71.68. Now, you saw what happened here, but that's not what really happened. Well, that's what happened, but let me show you the sequence of events because I, I made a special video on this because it was that important. Now, here is the situation that we have going now, and some people were able to take advantage of that. You'll see there's where we are. There is the 7168, folks. This is an hourly chart. Folks, for 10 hours last night, 10 hours it stayed in this level right here. Now, that's telling you one or two things. It's either accumulation or distribution. And once you went below this level right here, that, my friends, was distribution. And boom, down we came. And that's when we were heading for the 78% level which came in at 
48. Now, if it's distance here from there to there is $3,000, and your risk on that would have been about 40 cents or $400. Okay, so it got down to the 78% level, went about uh, 50 points below it, and then it's uh, had a little bit of a rally, but it's just bouncing off that level right now. But we have come down in the past, uh, I think, eight or nine trading days, we're down about $10 a barrel or, no, wait, 83. Yeah, we're down about $14 a barrel in oil. So you would think that we're going to start seeing something in the pumps to tell us that, yeah, maybe it's going to be uh, a little bit better. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. Now, I can't, um, well, let me do one other one here that we were watching here today. So hold on. Um, oh, dear, where is it? My Euro trade. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Just give me a second here because we are at a very, very important level here. Um, those of you that get the videos, uh, they're, they're, it's such an important thing go, that we've got going on here in the uh, Euro that uh, – I'll try to cover it in the second half of the show uh, today uh, from the 2 to 3.30 level. But there's the weekly chart here uh, in the uh, euro right up here at this level. Now, you, you, when you look at this, this is a weekly chart. But if you were to break this down, and that's what I'm going to do in the second half of the uh, show, for the 2 to 3 p.m. show today, I want to break this down and show you the real value of technical analysis. I know some of you already know the value of it, but I try to do this to the folks that were in, uh, you know, the Las Vegas show. But frankly, a lot of people just don't want to do the work, and there's nothing you can do about that. They're, you know, I they like uh, whatever they like to do, moving averages, stochastics, and, and that's okay too because there's a lot of different ways to skin a cat. But when you see what happened in this section right here, this was the 382 retracement right here. There was the three drive to a bottom right there. There's a 382 retracement right here, and this is where we came to uh, last night. And uh, I want to show you uh, what that is, but I'm going to do it on the second half of the show. Hopefully, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest coming in at that time, and I want to be able to uh, share that uh, also uh, with them. And we're also looking at the, uh, the gold market here today because uh, we uh, exceeded, let's just get this, uh, oh dear, I, I, this is not updated, so I don't even want to show it. This is because we're up a little bit uh, more than I, this was from two days ago, so that's an interday, interday chart. However, the silver chart is still up to date, and it has not taken out these highs, and that's a sign of a tiny bit of weakness so far. Of course, with the Federal Reserve coming in here, in, a, in about an hour, you know, all bets are off. And, you know, I'll be doing both shows, so we'll be able to see some of the wild swings that we see going on, especially the ones uh, in the euro and in the gold, because those are the ones that uh, give me the very best uh, of what we can see. You can notice here on the silver, we had this beautiful ABCD buy down in here. That's, of course, when the gold was down around 1818, and we had a hell of a run from there. But anyway, we're going to be taking a break here 877-927-6648 and we'll be back after words from our sponsors Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, this is a uh, trading situation, not for the faint of heart. This is an hourly chart on gold. I want you to notice here. This was the sixty one percent retracement here at twenty twenty nine. And uh, I was talking when I put the video out today. I said, you know, if it breaks above here, you can be a buyer, and your your first objective would, of course, be here. But with the Fed coming in, I think you could probably get to 2045, which was the 78% level from way back there at 2065, which was also a 78% level. So if you did this on a longer term basis, which I haven't done today, that would be a one, uh, three, uh, one, three, five pattern coming in. I'm going to, uh, at the, when the next break comes up or, or in the next hour, I'll update this on the daily to see if I'm right on that. But your risk here is, is virtually nothing now because you've got about a $3 and you're coming into the Fed time, and believe me, uh, $3 is nothing. So you put your stop at your break-even point, which would be at 2029, and your profit objective would be up there at 2040, uh, 2045, 2043. And since you have that much money made, what you want to do is you want to sell it short there and risk some of that $30 that you'd made, maybe risk $10 and put a stop at 2055. Now, that's very aggressive trading, but gold acts sometimes in a very aggressive manner you can see some of these abcd patterns that are in here and there was, a, was a, this was a really nice trade right here but it didn't last very long backed off about six dollars you put your stop at break even and then away it goes to the upside so this is one that we want to be watching the other one that's really important and not many people pay a lot of attention to it uh, fortunately john jameson who writes the letter for us uh, he does and the difference between the uh the 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 thirty uh, the six month note uh, the six month t excuse me the six month t bill and the thirty year treasury bond has reached levels that have never been seen in the history of interest rates. In other words, the people are buying short term rate to protect themselves for some reason, whatever that reason is, more than they ever have against the thirty year treasury bond. I know there's a lot of news in the market about China and the bonds and all that other stuff, folks. That's why I'm a technician, because that stuff is cannon fodder. 
it doesn't mean a diddly squat to me because I don't understand. Well, I understand what it is, but I don't know if it's true or not. The only true thing that I know is that if prices go up, there's more buyers. And if prices are going down, there's more sellers. And I know that uh, ABCD patterns work about 55, 60% of the time. And Fibonacci works about 55, 60% of the time. You add them both together, and you got a little bit of an edge against these folks that have the big edge of insider information. And if you think they don't use that inside information, stop and think, why did two Fed Reserve members uh, had to resign unexpectedly uh, in the past year or so because of trading on the information if you could believe anything like that billy ray valentine certainly doesn't but i'll bet you other people believe that maybe they do something like that and you bet your sweet bippy that they do anyway let's pay uh, close attention to that and we'll see uh, what's going to happen i want to show you a little update of that chart because it's not something that i would be uh, doing uh, all I would be doing it on air of course but I wouldn't be doing it on an overnight trade but here's what I'm saying here you can see the 61 percent retracement and then when it popped above it and it stayed above it hasn't really gone much above the uh, the 36 level so all you do now is you have your stop setting at 29 20 29 when the Fed will be acting here in about 50 minutes and there was your price objective up here and you'll you'll actually go short there with a buy stop above this folks don't do this this is not this is for someone that's watching it and can control it and the best you can my control is i've got to stop setting at 2029 20, right now so uh basically break even i got a shot at something like this if it happens fine if not the good part is i'll be doing the show the second half of the day so we're going to see some rock and roll action now we've been long notes uh excuse me, we're long bonds here for the last three days, ever since the 129.20 level. They're up three handles. And, uh, you know, they look uh, tremendously bullish right now compared to, to what they look like, uh, you know, when we came in here, uh, you know, early in the week because it had a, you know, relatively uh, big sell-off. And uh, we were able to, to buy that sell-off. And we're still expecting the uh, bond market to uh, get up to a much lever, higher level on a special uh, you'll notice this is the uh, longer term chart here uh, to see that we are at the uh, day. This is a longer term daily, but we're looking for a price objective up around that 138 level. Now, we were able to buy this level right here when we made that 382 retracement here on Tuesday. That's when we had the perfect ABCD at the 2920. The low was uh, 12918. Uh, Two ticks, and then and we're up three three full handles on that. And what we're doing now is with the Fred in there, we've raised our stop to lock in a two thousand dollar profit on that. Because if something happens crazy, which it can, I don't want to give any of that. We we'll have to give some of it back, but at least we put a stop in to protect a two thousand dollar profit uh, if that occurs. Now we're also short stocks from Monday, as you know. We've talked about that several times when we got up to that. 4206 uh, level where we had an ABCD pattern and a whole bunch of other stuff. But the market's actually coming back pretty good. Uh, we're down Tuesday, and in the middle of Tuesday, we start rallying, and we've been rallying all day Wednesday coming into Fed time. Uh, I, my personal opinion is I don't believe we're going to take out that 40, 4206, but if we do, we should not get any higher than 4220 at the, uh, at the outside. But, boy, the Fed can do anything they want to. And if you try to outguess them, just turn on CBN, CNBC or Bloomberg and listen to all the different opinions that are out there. Remember, folks, opinions are like armpits. Everybody has one, and it usually smells. So pay close attention to what the charts are doing. That's where the bottom line will be, and that's what you want to be seeing to look at. So the, the main thing, I, I wanted to show you that buy here. Uh, well, we're, we're way above this level. Yeah, we're up there pretty close to it right now. Let's just get this one right here in the uh, Treasury bond to show you what we were looking at here because this is nothing more than a really nice. Uh, there was our pullback here, and there's the level that we're looking at up in here. Uh, we're, in fact, we're, I think we're there right now, or if I'm not mistaken. I, well, it can't be because the beepers never went off, but we got to be getting close to that level uh, very, very soon, I would believe. I haven't checked the uh, price of the bonds here recently, but uh, uh, see, one, uh, we're at 132. Now, they're at 132.20, 
and that was the high, and we're at one. Eh, they backed off. Oh, they backed off about 15 or 20 picks, but 133 would be the area where we would be wanting to uh, take our uh, take our profits uh, in that trade if the uh, Federal Reserve comes in and was kind enough to get us up into this uh, to this area right here. So we're going to take a break here. Hopefully, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest coming up. Uh, if not, I've got some things I wanted to share with you just from the psychology part of, you know, what I do and, and how I try to, uh, you know, prepare a trade and uh, make it so that you folks can try to make a buck or two. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Good morning to Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stan, how are you doing today? Good afternoon, Larry. I'm doing oh, just oh, awesome. Oh, I forget. I forget. The sun goes down in the west. I, uh, I knew there was something about geography <laughs> I had trouble with. How are you doing, my friend? Just doing awesome. Thank you, Larry. Doing awesome. Okay. Your first chart here is a long-term puppy, but uh, what are you looking at here in stocks? All right. Let's uh, take, take a look at things here, shall we? Shall we? Yep. Um, this is a uh, first chart I have is the... S&P 
500. And mm -hmm. what I want to kind of just back up and look at the, the big picture of things here, Larry, for just a few moments. Um, the, uh, the chart I have here is a, uh, an S&P chart starting from the early 1960s. And uh, are you seeing it on the screen, by the way? It's perfect. Yes, it's coming in as clear as a bell. The sound is great. It's almost like uh, real radio and TV. Well, there you go. <laughs> uh, what I have done here is I've shown the S&P from uh, 1962 through about 1999. And what happened back then, Larry, was we tend to get important washout lows about uh, every four years. And oh, boy, this shifted a little bit. Uh, my arrows and my purple lines moved a little bit between when I placed them and uh, I must have bumped uh, my mouse. But anyway, you'll get the point. Um, the, the, the purple lines are supposed to mark the lows, which occurred in 62, 66, 70, 74, 78, 82, 87, uh, 90, 94, and 98, and so on. Um, Every 49.2 months, there's some Fibonacci math that goes into that that I've, uh, that I've unraveled. Uh, analysts back in the day used to call this a so-called four-year cycle, and it was four years in one month. But that was a very regular heartbeat in, in the stock market. Mm -hmm. um, but then something very interesting occurred following the uh, October 1998 low. That same cycle many think disappeared. Well, it didn't disappear. It expanded by a Fibonacci 1.618. That's all it did. So instead of 49.2 months, it's now 79.6. You could round it to 80 for uh, ease of use. Let's call it the 80 month cycle. Uh, 84 months would be exactly seven years. Some people have recognized this. They call it the seven year cycle. It's the exact same cycle, but it is now expanded by a Fibonacci 1.618. And, uh, that marked the low, of course, in 2022. Again, in October 2002, which we'll go into again here in just a moment, March of 09, Feb of 16, and uh, October of last year. And uh, the analysis suggests, should the pattern continue, that uh, May, June of uh, 2029, near the tail end of this decade, we should see the next low point in this uh, series. But it's all the same cycle. Um, wow. And and I just I thought that this would be a good point to, to start. So knowing that where we were and knowing where we're likely to go can help us a lot. Do note, please, uh, all of the cycles up until now have been characterized by right translation. That is that is the crest or the high point occurred well to the right of the midpoint of the cycle. So as you can see the high that occurred in January 2022 occurred well to the right of the midpoint between Feb 16 and October 2022. Now, what I think is likely to occur going forward, because I think that high was a very significant high, a 94 year cycle high to be exact, I think we're gonna get left translation as we go forward. So what does that mean? That means the crest of the 79.6, 80 month cycle, call it seven year cycle, that we're in right now should see the crest or the high point occur not to the right of the middle, but to the left of the middle. Um, and I'll be watching for that very, very carefully. Wow. Uh, let's shrink the, the analysis down from monthly to weekly. Uh, this is a chart I've shared with you on the air here many times. This is the dominant weekly cycle, which typically spans about 34 weeks. That cycle expands and contracts by Fibonacci 0 0.618, 1.618. Uh, but if we were to plot all of them on a graph, look at a histogram, you would find that the peak of the histogram occurs right at 34 weeks, eight months. Uh, those two numbers are Uncle Fib, so uh, no surprise there. Uh, the uh, more recent low in this cycle occurred coincident with that 80 month cycle low that is back in October of last year. Um, on the air with you here up until today, I've been suggesting the next low point in that cycle would occur in mid-June. Uh, Larry, I no longer think so. I think the low occurred uh, with the March lows we saw about uh, five, six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I've got some reasoning behind that. 
Okay. Oh, okay, there was what, there's what I wanted to ask you. Go ahead. Um, let's shrink the analysis down to the daily chart. Here is a, a daily chart of the Dow that I ran off uh, just a little over an hour ago. Um, this is the Dow Industrials going back to July of 2020-21, right through uh, shortly before noon today, Eastern time. And uh, what I've drawn here with a purple line is I have drawn a downtrending uh, line from the November 8, 2021 high. And as you can see, that has been the governing line in the sky, if you will, for uh, the market as measured by the Dow Industrials. Uh, one time we broke above it, a couple of times we've been a little bit below it, but for the most part, we've kind of danced along this line and we're, uh, we're basically nudging it right now as you and I speak. Mm -hmm. So until, uh, until spoken otherwise, uh, this is the governing structure and uh, it, it's containing the market right now. Mm -hmm. Stan, do you take any significance in the fact that the Russell is so, so weak compared to the rest of the market? I mean, my goodness, it's in a, I mean, it can't rally at all. I mean, uh, do, you, do you look at that at all? Um, I do. Um, I look I look at the Russell, but more importantly, I look at what I call the big five. And for me, the big five are the Dow Industrials, like we have on the screen here, mm -hmm. uh, the S&P 500, the Dow Transports, the NASDAQ Comp, and the New York Comp. And okay. to a lesser extent, I look at the Russell. So I, I guess you could say big six. But for me, the, the big five are the most important, important uh, uh, market barometers. And I want to study those very carefully to look for signs of either confirmation or non-confirmation in a measured move up or a measured move down. And that will give me some feel as to whether or not uh, the trend is diverging or confirming. Uh, and okay. yes, the Russell, uh, a lesser component of, the, of, that, of that big five grouping. But uh, yes, it's lagging effect is something I certainly have in the back of my mind. Okay, that's great. We're going to have to take a break here and pay a sure. few bills here pretty quickly, I believe. Let me double check the old. Uh, but we got another 45 seconds or so. We have a, uh, a question from someone. I'm not sure whether you follow the banking index, but the question was, do you follow that banking index and is it meaningful? The uh, the KBW. Now, there are several. Yes. There are several banking indices. Uh, absolutely, they've uh, literally fallen out of bed here. And, yeah, uh, they sure have. Yeah, that. That's part and parcel of my reasoning that, that the high from last year is going to stand. And I can hear we got a commercial coming up. Yeah, uh, we do. So we'll, we've got some more charts we'll go into after the break. Oh, right. Thank you very much. We'll be back with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. 
educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, and we're ready for the next one. What I've done here is kind of resurrected a, uh, a chart from the vault. Um, this is from 20 years ago, and I had run this off some time ago and kind of stuffed it in my files, but I pulled it back out recently, started studying it, and something very interesting just popped up in front of my eyes. Uh, here, here is the chart of the S&P 500 from uh, – Oops, I'll get it right in a moment. There we go. Uh, from the middle of 2001 into late 2003. Mm -hmm. And I'd like you to just take a look at that and kind of focus on the patterns of ups and downs. We had a low uh, September 21, 2001, following uh, the 9-11 mm -hmm. uh, event. And then we rallied back up into uh, uh, the early part of 2002 and then made a low in late February, another low in July, and a final low on October the 10th of that year. Um, then we rallied up into early December, came back down, made a, another low in mid-March, and from that point, we powered higher. The October low back then and the March lows were all part and parcel of that 34-week cycle that I've talked about, although it contracted to 21 weeks, Fibonacci 21 weeks. But mm -hmm. point being, the market went up from there. Well, let's fast forward in time 20 years and kind of see what happens here. This is the current time frame, 2021 through the present. And I ran this off uh, about noontime, uh, Eastern time today. And look at the similarities. Over on the left, we made a low, actually bases the October, uh, October the 4th bases the S&P, the, the Dow actually bottomed around September 20th, <laughs> uh, 20 years almost to the day from 2001. Made a January wow. high, like 20 years prior. Made a February low, like 20 years prior. Made a June, July low, like 20 years prior. A low in October, this time on the 13th, mm -hmm. as compared to the 10th. Made a mid-March low. Um, okay, just to make it easy, let's put them both on the same page. And what I've done here is I've laid the time period from 20 years ago and the present chart right on top of each other. And with per wow. purple vertical lines, I have uh, lined up the lows. And look at that. It's almost to the day 20 years ago. The Give pattern. me a second here. I want to cover a short. Hold on. <laughs> 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 that that uh, that is uh, that's uh, pretty much awesome. My goodness. Yes. Yeah. Now, I know juxtapositioning uh, these patterns work until they don't. <laughs> yeah. So while you know on uh, May the third, twenty twenty three, you and I can showcase this. Um, what usually happens is May the 4th, it stops working. <laughs> yeah, well, Cinco de Mayo's uh, coming up, too. You don't yeah. want to forget that. That's on Friday, so. <laughs> yeah, only because I'm showing it. I'm, 
I, only because I'm showing it with you on the air here. Uh, yeah. I'm sure this has never happened to you. <laughs> oh, no. Not today. Uh, yeah. In fact, it already has. It did happen today. So. <laughs> <laughs> but the takeaway is this. If, the, if, if, in italics, bold, um, if the pattern continues, then we, be, we should be looking for a rising market for the balance of this year, just like 20 years ago. Um, and I actually think that's what's going to happen. Um, so uh, we shall see, as they say. I heard that you uh, a, that's in a prior awesome session chart. talking about, I'm sorry, go ahead, please. That is a flat out awesome chart. You know, you've been doing this with me for a long time, and that is probably the clearest description of a cycle that I've ever seen, Stan. Honest to God, how you've overlaid it like that. I mean, my God, yes. there, it's like a, it's like a Swiss watch for heaven's sakes. It's, it's a vert. You're right. It's, a, it's almost a Xerox copy within the day or two. Uh, uncanny. Uh, wow. And but these things work until they don't work. Yeah. Right now it's working. Mm -hmm. um, shorter term time frame. Um, this is the I've shown the. The 34-week, eight-month cycle, which mm -hmm. contracts and expands, usually by Fibonacci 0.618 to 1.618. So that would say that would mean 21 weeks to 55 weeks. Uh, this last one, I now believe, uh, contracted to 21 weeks. And from this point, we're heading higher. Why do I think we're heading higher? For, t for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, the pattern overlay with 20 years ago. And if that's all I had to go on, that wouldn't be enough. But what we have seen here is evidence of right translation in the current trading cycle. And right translation uh, right now conveys uh, uh, higher prices down the road. Um, wow. Very, 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 very spectacular. And then the last cycle I've got here on the stock market is averaging about 49 to 50 trading days. There's some Fibonacci math that goes into this. It expands and contracts. Um, the last couple of iterations have been a, a 1.00 iteration. The two prior ones were a 1.618 Fibonacci expansion. And the two prior to that were a 2.00 expansion. But it's all part and parcel of the same uh, mm -hmm. Fibonacci rhythm. And assuming the pattern continues with a 1.00 iteration, as I have shown, it would point to a low in the vicinity of May 22nd, May 23rd, plus or minus. Um, and if we made a high a couple of days ago, why 34 over 50 is uh, well to the right of the midpoint. Mm -hmm. Ergo, right translation, meaning prices are likely to head higher from here. So near term, I'm looking for some consolidation. We're going to have a little... Uh, uh, a little jockeying, of course, with today's Fed announcement within the next few minutes. Um, but by and large, uh, I think uh, later this year, I think uh, prices are going to be uh, higher. Not not new highs for the major indices, but higher nonetheless. That's that's what I'm looking for. Wow, this is really good. Listen, you're going to be on in the second half of t uh, the next hour, correct? I am, yes. Yes, sir. I and my friend, I really, I tell you, I, I, of course, I, we've been friends for a long time, but that chart you showed me just beforehand, that, uh, my eyes popped out of my head, and that doesn't happen to me very much, because I thought I'd seen everything, but that was an awesome correlation, Stan. That is, uh, that's something to, to really pay attention to. It is indeed. I, I've yeah. not seen a match that close uh, in a long time, and yeah, particularly curious. over that wide of a time frame. Wow, awesome. We want to talk about more more about that when we get back to the uh, uh, on the second half of the show. By the way, some friends of ours were over at the CMT meeting in Chicago, uh, New York this past weekend when the Mets were playing, and Larry Williams was there, and several people came up to mention you and uh, Peter Elides and Larry Williams and stuff. So it was uh, nice to hear some of us old timers are still around. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy. And we'll see you in about uh, 50 minutes, okay? No, Sounds 40 good. minutes, we'll about 40 minutes. Thanks a lot, Stan. My pleasure. You bet. Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. And uh, we're going to have him on again at the second break which is always a lot of fun, but uh, we need to pay really close attention to that one chart that he posted because uh, the correlation of something like that 20 years apart really means something. So we're going to take a break, 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, we sure had enjoyed having Stan on the line, and he was saying about the fact that this thing looks pretty good, but it does fail. I just want to show you what I... This was a trade that I had done for the folks in um, uh, Las Vegas because uh, there were there were a few commodity traders in there, but everybody knew what wheat was, of course. Anyway, I wanted to show them the ABCD pattern there and where we were buying wheat and how much we were risking and stuff like that. And so I was risking basically 10 cents. And of course, uh, you can see here it's it's uh, gone up. Uh, it's made about 30 cents so far today. So the the profit objective. I had been reached uh, uh, and everything, but in the middle of the night last night, when I was doing the update on this, uh, and the market was sitting right around here, I said, if this thing gets below uh, 604, it's probably going to go down to 601. And uh, guess what? <laughs> the low was 603 and three quarters, and then it took off uh, to the upside. Now most people. Had their stops at 5.99, so it was it was not a problem. But uh, said person who's speaking right now uh, made a silly mistake uh, putting his uh, stop in here. And the, the part of the reason was uh, that well, that doesn't make any difference. I was following the currencies and the bonds so much that it's uh, really really interesting. Now we're going to get a really rock and roll report here coming up with the dude, uh, main dude, Mr. Powell is going to be talking here. 
So we're going to have some fun with really live stuff. And then we're going to have Stan on in the second half of the show. We've got to look at that uh, that uh, chart that he did on that 20-year cycle comparison, folks, because these markets are one thing that we absolutely know 100% for sure. These puppies repeat and repeat and repeat. And uh, we, we certainly want to see you know, how that uh, does work out when we uh, start to look at some of these other things that we're paying attention to. So uh, we'll be right back with the mid-afternoon update, and then we'll listen to Chairman Powell. 